startups, we have a term called think big, smart, start small. So your vision has to be the big, your vision has to be the 100%, but you don't need to really scale everything first. You build everything first, spend a lot of money, and then you start. You start with a small product, with a minimum product, which is you can actually go out to the customers to test your idea really before committing a lot of money into the startup. So there are certain examples that we have discussed in the uh, in the past about the Zappos, which was uh, which started its uh, online shoe business by taking the pictures from the existing store, sending it to the customers. If they like it, they buy it, and then the the uh, startup founders bought it from the uh, show uh, store and then deliver it to the customer directly so they, they were able to get a lot of feedback from the customers how they can improve the product and after that they develop the product once the, they see that the market is actually accepting online deliveries uh, of the shoe also before that nobody was able to think that even shoes can be small uh, sold small online uh, you may not know about Oyo, maybe Oyo, uh, you may have already been know about Oyo. Oyo is one of the largest, now third largest uh, hotel chain company in the world. But they, they, their starting was very modest. The founder was traveling all around the world to see the hotels. And once they, he stay at the hotel, he approached one hotel manager, one hotel first to develop, uh, to understand the, how the hotel work can work. And he tested his own ideas on that particular hotel. He renovated the hotel, one hotel, and then he run it. And then when he was successful, he took another hotel, one more hotel. And then he keep on increasing uh, some of the hotels until it was really beyond, uh, so, uh, beyond the control of manual. So they developed the systems. They develop the processes, they develop the playbooks, they input it, uh, put a more uh, founders into the company, they hire more people because their inventory was keep on increasing and then they really scale super fast. Oyo is not a very, very old company, it's just only about 10 year old company probably, but they, now they are the world's third largest hotel chain and they don't own a single hotel they own don't own a single hotel room they are all selling the hotels under their franchise they they used to start with uh, renting of this uh, committing only one floor of particular hotels rather than taking the whole hotel the other hotel part was sold by the hotel themselves they were taking only one some floors but then after that, they rebranded the hotel, the entire hotel under their own brands. Now they are uh, spending very, very fast. So that's one way of thinking big and starting small. Then there are accurate customer. Uh, so they what it helps is to it get it helps to get the accurate customer data based on actual spending and actual their usage behavior and its ability to interact with the real customers and understand their needs. And then uh, it revealed unexpected situation surveys, which uh, research probably will not be able to show. So if you are doing a market research, you may be able to uh, get some data about the customer, about their needs, but uh, you may not be able to get 100% answers rather than you go and interact with the customers to understand more about their uh, situations because some more, a lot of situations are unexpectedly novel, which the surveys will not be able to display. Then there are certain things which uh, was not so successful. For example, HP. HP was developing certain uh, volunteering projects. So they, they rolled out to all the employees, but it was not really successful. So what they could have done is they could have rolled out their volunteer project to a small number of people. Test, will they really be able to spend their time after the office? on the volunteer project how they would like to volunteer and what are the effect what are its impact on the employee morale employee productivity and then they could have developed that particular study and implemented all on on the other country all on other part of the company rather than try to roll out the entire program at one go to all the groups so that is on the think big and start small experimentation is uh, so we have we discuss, we were discussing on the, the few technical few startup uh, strategies uh, lead strategies so one is called experimentation so experimentation is a process of rapidly learning what customers want and how much they will pay for it if they will pay for it experiment is actually a product as well 
and we test the assumptions so that we don't waste the time on building the wrong uh, product or wrong services or charging it wrong or putting up the wrong business model or committing a very fixed cost so the experimentation will definitely help us in all those things the process of experimentation includes make the hypothesis which are supposed to happen and then we the hypothesis can be in both ways it can be a value hypothesis how much we will charge will the customer pay for it and uh, how much they will pay for it and the growth strategy how we will grow our customer how much will be the product how many customers will be able to get how we are going to retain the customers will there be new customers these are all the growth hypothesis so we need to test our hypothesis with the scientific methods and then we will able to generate our product with the certain more certainty that we are sure the product will work because we have already tested all the hypothesis so the necessity of the experiment will uh, answer following questions will the customers do the customers know that they have a need or they have a problem there which we are trying to solve if yes is there any customer is there any solution or uh, will uh, will they will the customer pay for it and will they buy it from us or not and how much they will pay for it or we can can we build the solution for that particular problem that we are trying to solve so it was developed by a company called kodak kodak is used to be the, in more on the the print uh, the the cameras however they are not very known about the kodak gallery now the kodak gallery they uh, it was started as an idea of a photo sharing app but it's not really uh, similar to a social media you can actually control your user access so they developed the program they developed initial version of the kodak gallery which was not very beautiful not very functional but they dispatched it and nevertheless so there were they got a lot of feedbacks that the customer the, the product was not useful it was not uh, as beautiful as it should have been it didn't it lacked certain features but that was not the point the point was that uh, they the point was to learn what the customers need means the customer actually needed so the the team was able to understand what features are very very important for the customers so they developed the program after that after those feedbacks and now the kodak gallery is one of the successful products of kodak and you they the, they can actually the they, they allow the user to prot, uh, to uh, to protect the privacy so that they can make sure that uh, they they are sharing the photos with the person who are actually using them so that's another example of uh, lean startup